Here I am at QSC. QSC has a nice new bit of kit this year for you audio files out there. So I'll put you to the product manager and he can tell us all about it. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Barry Farrell with QSC Audio Products. And this is our new DCP300. It is a fully integrated digital cinema processor that also includes the booth monitor, the DSP crossovers, and full uh, network control and monitoring over Ethernet. Uh, by combining all these functions into one unit, we have uh, the fastest, simplest, easiest to install digital cinema processor solution on the market and should take care of all of your uh, digital cinema audio needs from the output of the server all the way to the loudspeakers with a full QSC integrated solution. So, so how does this compare to um, the others? Like, I, I think Dolby's got a new system and, and USL. Um, what would you say to that? Those processors are basically just one portion of what the DCP300 does. We have a complete digital cinema processor like they have, but we also have the booth monitor, and Ethernet remote control and monitoring of the amplifiers and loudspeakers and the unit itself, as well as digital audio transport via Cobranet, all included in one unit. To achieve the same functionality with uh, their packages, you would have to add separate booth monitors and separate amplifier remote control and monitoring systems and wire it all together and hope it all works out. Uh, we have the simplest, most integrated solution that uh, gives you the complete A-chain and B-chain uh, with full network control. Cool. Can, can you quickly uh, show us the interface? It looks um, you, like you've got a touch screen here, is that correct? Yes, we do. Uh, we decided to go with a touch screen interface so that we would have the most flexibility for upgrades on this product. Uh, you know, the whole digital cinema audio uh, chain is really still shaking out. So uh, by having a touch screen, show us, please. Uh, we can call up a preset screen, which will allow us to choose which inputs we're using and which audio formats. And if we'd like to see what those are programmed for, we can see that this was a this was set up for uh, an analog input up to 7.1 audio. We have multiple EQ settings that are available. We have master gain offsets, so we can change the volume between the trailers and the features, for instance. And we also have a global uh, master audio delay, which is necessary to accommodate the video processing latency of the digital cinema projectors. And then. Uh, we also have a monitor screen where we can actually select which channels of audio we want to hear and we can choose if we want to hear the inputs of the box or the outputs of the box. Wow, that's great. And uh, we have meter screens so we can actually see uh, the uh, audio coming in and out of the box. And uh, there are various fault and status screens yeah. that are available too. Uh, this isn't configured at the moment, but it would actually show all the models of the loudspeakers. Uh, you just configure it for which model of QSC loudspeaker you're using, and all of the DSP presets for that speaker would be downloaded into the crossovers. Wow, that's great. So, so your system actually works in conjunction uh, with, with your amps. So, so there's an advantage in using your amps with your system? Uh, yes, there's a tremendous advantage in using our amplifiers. Uh, we have a connection between the processor and the amplifiers that we call the data port. It, it was a QSC invention and many others have uh, climbed on board, but they don't have all of the capabilities that our data port has. We actually have a 15-pin VGA-style connector that goes between the amplifiers and the processor, and that connection feeds the audio to the amplifier, controls the power of the amplifier. You can turn it off and on. Uh, it measures the heat sink temperature. It looks for clipping. Uh, if there's any protect uh, mode or anything in the amplifier, it will all be reported back to the DCP300, and the DCP300 will make that information available over Ethernet using our Q's control remote control system. So you could easily find out that, uh, say, an amplifier was beginning to overheat before it ever became a problem, and you would know that the technician could go out and, uh, say, clean out the dust and dirt. And uh, we can discover these problems before they become a real issue and cause a, a theater to lose audio. All right, this is the rear panel of the DCP300, and you can see all of the interface connections on the back. Uh, to start with, we have a mic line input, so we can have a paging microphone in the theater. Uh, we have the usual stereo RCA input for uh, plugging in such as, things such as a CD player for your uh, non-sync intermission music. Uh, we have 
an analog input of up to 10 channels, and that allows you to plug in a legacy film cinema processor. So if you're putting this into a theater that's going to keep a film projector and already has an uh, analog film processor, we can take those inputs in uh, right into our box. We have dual 8-channel digital AES EBU inputs for the uh, server, so we can accommodate either uh, two uh, digital servers with 8 channels or one 16-channel output and that accommodates the full DCI specification of up to 16 channels. Uh, we also have an SPDIF uh, input, and uh, then the next set of connectors, uh, this is where we do most of our control and monitoring. We have a USB plug that uh, is where we plug in the laptop when we configure the system initially in the theater uh, and set up all the parameters for the system and do the equalization. And then we have an Ethernet port, which is uh, our QS control system, our remote control and monitoring. Uh, the next two connectors over are primary and secondary ports for the uh, CobraNet digital audio transport. We can transport up to 16 channels in and 16 channels out of digital audio using the CobraNet digital audio transport system. This allows us to send audio between the different auditoriums uh, if we wish, or uh, we can even put remote amplifiers using some of our other basis uh, DSP products uh, in uh, other places in the facility such as behind the screen. Uh, the next uh, feature that uh, I believe is uh, a QSC exclusive, I've not seen this on other products, is uh, we have a complete system backup on an SD memory card. Uh, because there are so many settings involved in, in putting in and aligning one of these systems with all of the equalization and crossovers and presets uh, and such, if the box were to ever fail, we want to be sure that it's fast and easy to get back on screen. So all of the settings of the box are stored on this SD memory card, and all you have to do is take out the old card, put it into the new unit, download those settings, and you're back up and running in minutes. Uh, we also uh, support an RS-232 automation interface uh, for command and control from other automation systems. Uh, the uh, two rows of connectors here are the 15-pin uh, data port connections that go to the amplifiers. Each connector represents two channels of audio. So we have the capability with 14 connectors to have up to 28 channels of audio out of the unit. Uh, other connectors are provided for things such as a hearing impaired audio source for your infrared listening system, assisted listening system, and a visually impaired narration track can also be uh, uh, taken off of the server and output to this connector. Uh, we have a monitor output so we can add additional monitor speakers to the system. Uh, and we have various logic and relay outputs to help interface to the other theater control systems. The bottom row is our uh, automation interface. Uh, if you have a theater that has uh, the uh, old familiar uh, contact closures for things such as format selection, uh, they would just wire up right to these connectors. And uh, that pretty much wraps up the tour of the back panel of the DCP300. This is the software that we use to configure the system. And uh, basically, we set up uh, the parameters of the loudspeakers and the sound system uh, format that's installed in the theater. Uh, if we click on the unit, uh, we can configure the auditorium for, say, three screen channels or five screen channels. We can configure for uh, the types of screen crossover. We support passive, two way, three way, and active four way systems. Uh, we can turn the back surround speakers off or on, depending upon if the theater was equipped for uh, the extended surround formats. And uh, we also have control of the master gain. We can mute the unit if we uh, wish. And uh, we also have control of our microphone preamp. And uh, we can also uh, determine if there are going to be any auxiliary channels activated in this auditorium. The aux channels are part of the DCI spec. Now, uh, just looking at that, of course, um, obviously you can do a lot through through the interface, but in general, uh, someone if putting in the system would would plug it in, put it on the network, and sit back and do all their control um, configuration, etc., from this software, uh, from the the leisure of their office chair, for example. Is that how it's supposed to be done? Well, this part of the configuration software is actually auditorium specific, and, and this is what is done when the unit is actually installed. 
And then we have a separate control and monitoring package called Q's Control, where we can control and monitor the system remotely uh, over the Ethernet. This is actually the setup and configuration, and then there is a separate remote control and monitoring package. And I imagine um, that's used for a lot of the integrators, etc., who want to work with you and, and, and control the theater remotely and, f and figure out problems. Yes, the uh, next phase of our development uh, will actually be working extensively with the, uh, with the server companies, the system integrators, uh, the theater management system software people. Uh, we want to uh, tightly integrate our package into their systems uh, so that actually they can uh, achieve full remote control and monitoring of our systems over their own theater management system. Uh, that will be our next step of development. No, I just uh, feel that uh, the DCP300 offers the most uh, functionality and the most features in a single unit of any uh, product for digital cinema A-chains and B-chains on the market. And uh, I would uh, like to uh, hope that everyone will give us a try. And uh, we expect to be in many, many digital cinema screens when the rollout uh, finally gets underway.